Hey everybody, today I am going to show you how to verify your website domain for Facebook ads. So, if you have a website and you're trying to run Facebook ads and want to use the pixel, I'm going to show you the steps necessary of how to verify your website domain to run Facebook ads and use that pixel with that new iOS 14 update. Um, it is essential to having more success with Facebook and Instagram ads. So, um, without further ado, let's jump into it. Uh, but first, if you haven't yet, make sure you turn on that bell for post notifications and hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the like or comment, and give me any feedback about this video once uh, the video is done. And I make videos like this every week talking about digital marketing, SEO, advertising, and more. I run Momentum Digital, which is a marketing agency. So turn on that bell for post notifications, and let's get into the video. So, how to verify your website domain for Facebook ads. Let me minimize myself here. Um, so I run a marketing agency and we help a lot of businesses with their Facebook and Instagram ads. And as of last year, Facebook wants you to verify your domain. So let's talk about how to verify that domain with Facebook ads. Uh, first thing you're wanna, going to want to do is log into business.facebook.com, which is your business manager. It's sort of like the umbrella account that Facebook uses where you can add all of your pages and Instagram accounts and pixels and verified domains and all that stuff. So now that we're in here, what we're gonna do, uh, first thing, I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'm gonna show you how to do it if you have WordPress and how to do it if you have Weebly. So for Weebly, I'll start with that one and I own a few different businesses. I'll move myself to the bottom right here. Uh, one of the businesses I own is Phone Repair Philly. Uh, we run ads and I need to update and verify my domain. If you don't have a business manager account, you can create one for free and then link all your pages, um, ad accounts, whatever else under that umbrella. And once you're in business manager, which is business.facebook.com right here, uh, you're going to want to go to business settings. This is where you can see the settings for your account, your account information, your billing, your pixels, your pages, ad accounts, so on and so forth. We're gonna to go to right here's data sources for pixels, but beneath that is brand safety, and we're gonna choose domains. These are gonna be the verified domains and unverified domains that you've tried adding. All you need to do is hit add, create a new domain. So go to this one instead. We're not adding a domain, we're verifying a domain. Then it's going to give you options. Uh, you can add a meta tag to your HTML code source. You can also use an HTML file to the root directory. I don't recommend that. Or you could update the TNS, DNS TXT record with your registrar. Definitely go with option one, adding the meta tag. So you're going to copy this by clicking here and it copies it to your clipboard. This is a piece of code that we're going to add and paste into the header section of your website's HTML code. The header section is used across all your pages so that that code will be used across your entire website. So after you publish that home page with the code and in a header source, um, it should be visible by viewing the HTML source and then you click verify. So we're gonna copy this code here. Now if you're using Wix like my one website, this is what you're gonna need to do. We're going to go over to Wix, we're gonna log in. Uh, you can go to settings here once you log in. I uh, can go to SEO and you can go to header code. And we're just going to paste this here in the header code. See, I've done it before. Let's see if they've updated the code. Yes, so this is the new domain verification. I'm going to delete the old one. So that's one way. I think I did not hit that save button. I just hit publish. So we'll hit publish now. Um, but another way to do it that I did it successfully is I went to theme and I went to edit HTML and CSS. And then I went up into the header right up here. And I added the tag right here. So now if I jump back over, I view the page source 
I go Command F, paste, here it is. So now we're good to go. This is from when I added the HTML source. So now if we go back over here, we're gonna hit Verify Domain. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> All right, now we're verified. So let's try another website and a different method with WordPress. So uh, we're gonna go to a different website here. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is you wanna go to plugins and you're gonna need to install a new plugin. So this is for my other brand and business, Philly IV. We use WordPress, so if you use WordPress, this is what you need to do. You're gonna go to uh, plugins over here on the left-hand side in the navigation. You're gonna look for header and footer. This is where you can add code directly to the header and footer. Super easy, WP insert header and footer. Oh, we already have it in here. And so then let's look for that. Uh, what you're gonna do is use that app. So right here it gives you details, etc. So another plugin I like to use is insert headers and footers. Uh, so what you're gonna do, you can install that here and activate it. A lot of these are good, they work, they have good reviews. Um, obviously some of the more popular ones have more downloads and reviews. Actually the most common one is insert header and footer. So let's activate this. Then you should be able to go to settings, WP headers and footers, and we can add the code here. So let's get a different code and update this. So let's do this for the different business account. And then we'll come back here and verify this one. So let's go to create new, new domain, phillyiv.com. And we're gonna choose the same thing, the meta tag verification right here. So we're gonna copy this for Philly IV. We're gonna go back over and just simply paste that in the header. Save the changes. Now that should be added. Back to the dashboard. And let's go to the website. Let's see if that took effect right away or we if, if we have to wait again. So we're going to view page source. I'm gonna go to the source code. Copy paste, right there it is. So it is already live. So we'll go back to Facebook and we're gonna verify domain. And hit that button. Um, it's checking. Oh, Philly IV is verified. Perfect. Great. I hope you found this helpful. Um, you know, sometimes you just need to wait for the code to propagate. Uh, there's a lot of different types of websites you can use. You just need to make sure you add this meta tag for the domain verification to the header code of your website and then verify it here. Then you can properly use the pixel and all the analytics and data behind it. Um, my name's Mac Frederick. Thank you for watching. Thanks for spending the time here. Uh, make sure if you like this video to hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And if we can help in any way, let us know. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. So make sure to subscribe and turn that bell on for post notifications. See you soon.